Hey everybody, it's Melanie with Lost and Found coming to you guys live from our downtown Springdale studio today. And I wanted just to pop in for a minute and show you by far the easiest way that you can seal milk paint. So I love, love, love working with milk paint, when, especially when I'm painting an old piece that has um, not much finish left on it and has a really deep, heavy grain, like an old oak piece. So if you've been following me for a while, you've seen that I've, ah, my apron, I've painted a ton of old oak washstands with milk paint. And it's just because it just, milk paint goes so well with it. You can still see the grain coming through of the wood. It just soaks down into the oak. And I mean, it just makes for a super quick makeover. So I've got a little oak washstand right now that I'm working on. And um, I wanna show you guys, excuse me. I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna seal it. So bear with me while I bend this down here and get you to this little oak wash stand, okay? Um, you may be able to see a difference between here and here. This I've started sealing and the product that I'm using is hemp oil, all right? I swear it is so easy when it's time to seal your milk paint pieces with hemp oil. Um, literally, I just pour a little bit in a cup right here and I've got just a chip brush and you just brush it on. And it does kind of deepen the tone of the milk paint a little bit, but it also, like if you've got some wood grain showing through, which we do because I sanded this back because I wanted to see that pretty oak wood grain. It kind of rehydrates your wood grain. And milk paint is different than fusion. Yes, you have to seal it with something. Um, Fusion mineral paint, you do not have to put an additional top coat on it. It's not porous, but milk paint is. So we're just gonna let that sit for just a second. Let's see if I can get you guys a little closer so you can see really how pretty it is with kind of, see the wood grain coming through milk paint? Hi, Karen. So you just let it sit for, you know, a couple minutes. I kind of work on it in chunks here. And then I've got an old t-shirt and you just wipe it back. This piece is particularly rickety. It is old and it's a little rickety. Now you just wipe back the excess and then let it, let it dry and bam, that's it. I mean, so, so, so easy. Much quicker than waxing, I think. And like I said, it does kind of richen um, the wood tone a little bit as you're working on it. So let's see, I'm gonna do it with this drawer also. Here's one of the drawers that we've been working on. Okay, so this, this color is, um, it's Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, and it's actually a mix of a color called Trophy with um, some of the grain sack. And I just was trying to mix up a different color. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. It's still pretty dark gray. I didn't get, I wasn't able to lighten it up much, but um, watch what happens when we go with the milk paint on it or with the hemp oil. It just richens it up. You can see that pretty oak coming through it now. And you guys, this let's see, this is two coats on this little old oak washstand. Um, each coat was dry in like 20 minutes, and then I started the next one. And then I went back and just sanded it. Um, sanded the whole thing first with the 220 grit sandpaper just to smooth it out. And then I went back with a 180 and sanded it a little bit more to highlight and just distress a little bit more. And then it was done. This is the piece that has those beautiful nap joints on it that you guys were so excited about that I posted the other day. I just wipe it off. And then you just, you just let it sit and dry and it's done. Super, super, super easy. So, I mean, really this whole makeover took me, I don't know, I, I stopped and did some other things in between, but it would have been, you know, 45 minutes maybe from start to finish. That's how quick it is when you're working with milk paint on an old oak piece like that. So 
Let me set you guys back up here. You guys are a quiet bunch today. No questions from anybody. If you've got a question, shout it out, let me know. Um, this is the product that I'm working with. It, it can look different. Um, the, what you saw here was a light yellow. This is a dark. It's the same product. It's just based upon when they press it in the season. Um, this is an all natural product. So it is food safe. You can use it on butcher block. In fact, I oiled um, the butcher block that we had in our house back in Texas. I would use hemp oil with it. If you've got cutting boards, if you've got salad bowls, it's amazing on top of your milk paint, especially over your dark milk paint. Give hemp oil a try. I hope that you, I hope you do. It's one of my favorite products that we have. I'm gonna finish up this dresser, hopefully take some pictures of it, and share it with you guys here soon, okay? Everybody have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.